pose is super sort of rich and gorgeous. So I really needed, wanted to downplay the girl and make her more edgy, a little bit more punky. It's sort of like spindly, kind of wispy hair. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it all got a band on it. And I put a red from guts in the hair to get it really crisp. And I'm leaving tons of product in so it dries hard. And all the things you're not meant to do. those things you see them like this different story to see them on the runway so just look a little bit tough in the eye blue and black actually right before they go out I'm putting some grease on top of the blue black so they have this sort of inky wet shiny finish to them and then this little kind of degradé lip where it's a bit kind of bitten a bit more red inside then clean skin strong eyebrows and we can get away with making the eyebrow a bit stronger than usual because they have the black bands so you kind of have a separation between the brow and the hair so strong in the eye strong in the lip nothing in the cheek natural skin so. Simple. The makeup is a little dark, I feel like. Because normally it's very smiley. We are still allowed to smile. Like very playful. It's about, you know, the spirit of Sonia, the French Parisian nonchalance, and a contrast with very structured, uh, tailored suit with uh, uh, impeccable uh, clothes. beautiful outfits. It's very simple, black skirt, uh, white t-shirt and then a black sweater on top. It's very comfy, it's like you would wear at home. So much black and white on every runway. You know, we don't often talk about black and white as being a fashion trend, but if we think back to spring, black and white in a very bold graphic way set forth and a very powerful message. are so desirable, skinny needs, but uh, used and reused with lovely perforated holes and like if they were worn before. We have a sort of Japanese jersey that fits the body in a fabulous comfort and at the same time is completely not soft, you know, stay straight on the body. We have wonderful, beautiful, impeccable pants not long to the bottom, that show a little bit of the leg. Lots of skirts, lots of skirts that show a little bit of the legs or that are a bit longer uh, under, under, the, under the knee. Sweatery dress, com very comfy, kind of long, low to the knee, and it's very colorful. It's like orange, yellow, and yeah, you know, colorful, very Sony Ricchio. My second half is crazy. It's like a orange 
for goats. Orange. It's fun, yeah. It's a very fun outfit. We're always using fur. We have a fabulous uh, goat sheep that is uh, uh, treated in a revolutionary way, micro perforated with holes, and this goat coat is completely light. We have a sort of uh, goat that is worked as an astrakhan. We have chiffon dresses, lovely prints that play with the idea of the stripes of uh, the heritage of Riquel, but completely reworked. Colors are really important in that show. A lot of uh, pastel. Uh, sophisticated pastel, pinkish, uh, but really shaded. is uh, uh, quite a, a tailored silhouette, a graphic silhouette, small shoulders. Well, I think it's pretty much on par, and I think that you know every piece that was there is exactly what Sonia would have done. It was an amazing collection. I love the suiting, I love the skirts, I love the hemlines, I love the pleating chiffon, I love the simplicity of the prints. It was great. I loved it.